In 2012, Dana Cardiel says she was at her then-boyfriend's house in Yonkers, N. Why they were arguing, and he called the police. It was around 9 p.m. a group of officers arrived and told Cardiel to show them her driver's license. She alleged later in a lawsuit that on the way to retrieve her license from her car, she was violently assaulted by four male officers, pushed to the ground, kicked, grabbed by her throat and lifted to her feet, and repeatedly thrown against the trunk of her car. Cardiel claimed that what happened was unprovoked. Officers took her to a holding cell, and after she requested medical care, according to her lawsuit, the police took her to a Yonkers hospital several hours later. There, she was treated for a fractured hand and injuries to her arm and shoulder. The uniform makes them feel like we can do what we want, and you sit there and shut up, says Cardiel, who was 37 at the time of the incident. In her federal civil rights lawsuit, filed two years after the incident, Cardiel alleged that the officers used unreasonable and excessive force. The city of Yonkers denied wrongdoing, but settled with Cardiel for $50.000. Civil suits like this are often the only recourse citizens have for holding police officers accountable, and for some people the only way to obtain any sense of justice. Yonkers is a small city just north of New York City. The Yonkers Police Department does not look like the community it serves. Yonkers is 19% black and 40% Latino. But the police force of about 600 officers is nearly 75% white, according to the department. NPR obtained records of payouts by the city of Yonkers for incidents of alleged police misconduct that took place between 2007 and 2020. When the city of Yonkers settled cases, it was made clear that the city and the officers involved in the lawsuits denied any wrongdoing. We focused on this period because the incidents that resulted in payouts occurred as the U.S. Department of Justice was investigating the Yonkers Police Department and recommending areas for reform. Even with the extra scrutiny from the Justice Department, the payouts by the city over alleged misconduct did not seem to have signaled that there were deeper systemic issues within the police department. Over the years, the number of incidents that resulted in a payout fluctuated, they peaked at 17 in 2012, dropped to a low of 2 in 2016, and bumped back up to 8 in 2018. Christina Gilmartin, Director of Communications for the Mayor of Yonkers, says lawsuits are settled for a variety of reasons and stressed that there is no admission of liability. Typically, she says, there is some investigation after a claim is filed. Decisions are made based on the strength of the claim, the assessment of the damages, the anticipated cost of defense. Settlements are paid for out of general tax revenues, she says, and are approved by the city council, 